What's up, everybody? I'm Vic, and I think I thought I uploaded yes. I was I think I was talking about the Rollers. I I think right after the Roller set video I did with this Kenya doll um yesterday, I had contacted the um creator of the Kenya dolls on Instagram. Her page is Things Kenya Says. And I was telling her I was looking for a golden glitzy Kenya. Da, 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 I had some very exciting news. She told me that she was sending me one. And I told her if she sent it to me, I'd be happy to review it when it gets here. Long story short, I have I asked she asked me that, was there any more that I wanted? And I've said I, I picked out all the one all the ones I wanted to her to send me. So I'm I'm gonna let you all know which one when they come here, but I was so excited when the, the creator of this doll reached out to me and told me that she would send me some and she also gave me some insight on the twin on the Kenya dolls that are coming out in twenty eighteen. And she wanted to send me one of those as well, but I told her I will most I will I prefer her to wait because she told me she wanted that one to be secret until January 2018. So on the good now I'm gonna give you a little background information on Kenya. Kenya was um developed was created in the summer of 1990. She wasn't released until 1992 by Tycho. Here's the original hairstyle guy that this one came with. And this one's from 1993, but she came with the same hairstyle guy Kenya came with in 1992. And the cool thing about Kenya is she come with this magic lotion, too. That's to, like, loosen her curls or straighten it, depending on how much you put in there. When I put the lotion in this one, when I put the leave-in conditioner... Prior in her hair prior to setting it, it it didn't straighten all the way. It just loosened her, her curls to a relaxed curl look. But the thing is, Kenya's hairstyle guy come with all these cute and cool hairstyles, especially the braids and the um beads. Ones are the braids and beads, and some of these have cornrows in them. And, and there's even more on the other side. My favorite one got out of these gotta be this one. But it would be nice if this one was in the hairstyle guide. And on this page right here, it gives us a little inside of on uh, um Kenya's hair and note after continuous hair and there's a note on here. They say after continuous long term hair play, Kenya's hair will be less curly than its original state. And there's a perfect way to fix solve, fix that problem is and that's by either roller setting. I made Kenya's hair curly again by roller setting and putting it in Vantu nuts. Those seem to be the easiest way to get her curls back. Kenya's hair is fun to play with, but the thing is that it could be time, very time consuming. Br putting br beads and putting braids, then beating her hair. That could take even a longer time, but for some look, some African American girls growing up who had Kenya, uh, several of them became hairstylists now, and some of them all and a lot of them learned how to do hair because of Kenya. Here's the updated hairstyle guide. All. These are hairstyles the new can you come with is so are so different now. We have this one. I will I'm I can't wait to try this one out. And here's a there's a variety of hairstyles. And this one on this side, it tells us about the magic lotion that Kenya comes with. And here's the note says, if your doll did not come with magic lotion, she can use regular hair conditioner with parental supervision. What I did was I used my leave-in conditioner I made with conditioner. And what the 
conditioner, the leave-in conditioner is mostly water anyway, so it'll still straighten out. Can it still will relax its Kenya's curls? After you straighten, you can leave her hair like it is, or be or um bead it and braid it like the girl is here. And it says after you wash her hair in the sink, her curls will come back. It all depends on what kind of Kenya doll you have. And this tells us how to use the beading needle. This could be tricky if you don't know what you're doing. But it's tricky for me because I sometimes I, I do the smaller braids. And sometimes the bead, the tool, wanna, it act like it want to get jammed. It, sometimes it jams up when I do that. But one of them, one of the cheaper ones that came with some beads, I bought the beauty supply so broke because I try to jam Kenya's hair into the bead or so. Here's the box she came with, very reminiscent to the 1992 Kenya. And my 1993 party Kenya box got all this, it's kind of like this and the back, but the back just says it has a Kenya with balloons that say 25th anniversary on it. And it tells us everything she comes with. But now on to the dolls. In the 90s, Kenya was the epitome of, she was the standard of beauty for African American girls in that time. And at that time, Tyco sold many Kenya dolls because she was an overnight success for many years. Uh, that lasted many, several years. And then the four years Tyco made Kenya, I mean, sold Kenya, I mean, sold and made Kenya. There were many different versions of Kenya came, that came out every year. And some years had two versions of Kenya that came out. This is the, this is a 90s Kenya I was lucky to find on eBay this summer. And this is Kenya from last year. I wish I had 2000. I wish I had more. I, I mean, I wish I had a 2012 version. But I do, but she's in storage. But... This is the newest Kenya I seen. This is the 25th anniversary Kenya, along with the one I got last year. I had a lighter skin version of this one with a pink dress, but since I already have that one in my closet, I donated that one to a toy drive just tonight. So, and while Kenya, while Taco made Kenya, she there were television ads and. And there was television commercials and print ads on these dolls, and and that um contributed more dollars into the to Tyco um that contributed more to Tyco because people found knew about these through ma Ebony magazines and TV commercials. Then I remember one of them when I was around three or four. That what made me want one then, but I didn't get one because I was tall, boys and play with dolls, but. Now that I'm old enough and want to design it myself, I'm here to push that stereotype, so. And the cool thing about Kenya is she comes with a, she comes with hairstyling accessories like beads, a pick. The, this, this, um, hair beater is n new for Kenya and I'm good. Luckily, they can, I'm kind of glad they got these now because putting the beads on without this is difficult. And they also, and she also came with rollers that make her hair curly, that you can curl her hair with, and the magic lotion that straightens it. If Kenya's hair is, if you're having trouble cur making Kenya's hair curly again, you can just set her hair with these overnight, and her curls will come back and melt like magic. Because I learned that out, found that out from experience. My take on Ken thing with Kenya is. I'm glad she's back out on the market. And this Kenya is just as is just as sturdy as a lot of the new dolls out now. And some of these are not as sturdy as others. Some of these are quality is different than others, so it depends on where you buy them at, and it depends on how you take care of them. And this one is one of the newest ones. And now that Kenya's back, she also has friends. I see Karina more often. And last time I seen Kenzie was last year or so. 
at cause when I bought this, when I bought my first one at Rite Aid, they also had Kenzie and Karina there, but I didn't think to buy either one of them. I may get a Karina or Kenzie later, but I'm gonna tell you all this. I hope Kenya sells the I hope Kenya sells good this year and I from what I heard she's been selling well at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I hope she sells well to the point they improve the keep improving the quality like they did with this darling. And the thing is I hope they sell well enough for Kenya to stay many more years around. Cause over the years they made Kenya the quality chain changed a lot between the different companies so that's why I learned so to everybody else if you if you're thinking about buying a Kenya doll for your daughter or yourself I highly recommend it because Kenya's hair is so much fun to play with I had so much fun curling and braiding and beating it and her hair is way better than Barb any Barbie I have so because her hair can be both curly and straight and braid, braided and beaded at the same time. And you can also practice cornrows and bantu knots and all that in her hair. My thing is, I hope Kenya. My thing is, I hope Kenya's hair to stay for many, many more years. It would be nice if I could see what Kenya would look like when Kenya turns fifty. Cause this year she's 25 now, so yeah, that's it for this video. And before I end this video, I will let you know that the company, the creator of this company, if I haven't mentioned it before, will send me several newer Kenya dolls, and I'll be happy to get those and review those when I get them. And she and she's sending them to me absolutely free, and that's why I'll be happy to review them when I get them and. Yeah, this is it for this video. I, I've spent too much time. I, I, this video is getting kind of long, so yeah.